Welcome back to Sunrise. The Queen has cancelled her traditional pre-Christmas lunch for extended family as Omicron cases surge in the UK. Let's go live to Tegan Dolling, who's at Windsor Castle, where the event was due to take place next week. Tegan, she just didn't want to put her guests' holiday plans at risk. Good morning, Mon. It's an unfortunate case of deja vu for the Queen. She has had to cancel her pre-Christmas lunch again this year and it was going to be held here at Windsor Castle. This is where she's been spending most of her time for work as well as play during a lot of the pandemic. Now, she has had to cancel, as you said, because she doesn't want to put her family at risk. And this is usually a really big traditional family affair. We see around 50 family members attend this uh, lunch every year, including Charles and Camilla, as well as most of the Queen's other children, her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren. Now, it is usually held at Buckingham Palace. Unfortunately, last year as well, she had to cancel because of COVID. And this year, the Queen has also decided just to take those precautionary measures uh, because of the spike in cases that we're seeing here at the moment. Gosh, no one's immune, are they? Now, the UK has rep reported its highest number of daily COVID cases since the pandemic began, Tegan. It has. So today we had a daily record number of cases. We reached around 88,000 cases here across the UK. And Boris Johnson actually went and toured a vaccination centre. He's wanting Britons to all come out and get their booster shots. We don't want to make your choices for you about your social life. Uh, we're not closing things. But what we are saying is people should be cautious. Now, despite the spike in COVID numbers, still only the one death that's been recorded here in the UK, Mon. 